hello, 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 hello. Right. With this question, um, it's all about stress and strain and change in length. Okay, so we've got this is like a metal bar, look. So here's my metal bar there, look. Um, so it's just metal bar could be in the building. Okay, it's a bit, a bit of metal, and it's been it's in tension to being pulled up. Tension. It's been pulled that way by a force 112 kilonewtons, which is 112,000. It's round, so it's got a diameter of 175 millimeters, which is also because we've got to be in meters, not point on seven five meters because you've always got to be in meters unit of length is a meter so all i've done there is done 175 divided by a thousand because there's a thousand millimeters in a meter okay so it's diameter 175 0 0.175 a meter and it's one and a half so it's 1500 millimeters long or 1.5 meters okay um and it's been pulled by 112 kilonewton force so we've got to find because you've always got to find stuff you know in these types of questions same as we've done in class we've got to find now the stress because it's gonna it's been pulled up all right Obviously, it's fixed here, perhaps, so it can't move. But. So we've got to find the stress due to the force. We've also got to find um, the strain. What strain is it under? So we've got to find the strain. And we've also got to find, number three, um, the change in length. Change in length. Change. Huh? Change in length. Look, delta L means change in length. Uh, this is in tension, which means it's stretching. So we need to find how much it stretches by. So the change, so the stretch. How much is this metal bar going to be stretched due to that force? Okay. So nice and easy. Um, the first thing we've got to do is find the stress. So I'll come down a bit. And we all know that the formula for stress is force divided by area. No tricks there, look. Okay, so we know the force is 112. So that's easy enough. So we know that F is 112 kilonewtons. Don't forget the killer is a thousand, so it's going to be 112 times 10 to the 3 on your calculator, or 112,000. Right, make sure you put the thousand in, don't just use 112, because you'd be wrong. And the area is this area here, look, it's the area of this circle. Not the volume, it's the area, this. I'll shade in, look, it's that area there. All right. And it's a round bar, so it's an area of a circle. So we all know the area of a circle. Area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius. Okay. We've got diameter. So you should know that radius is half a diameter. So I'm going to find the radius by dividing this number by 2, which will give me 87 and a bit. So the area is pi r squared. And so we've got to divide now, haven't we? So the radius is 0 0.175. So radius, so radius. It's going to be 0 0.175 because that's my diameter. Look, my diameter is 175, but I've got to be in meters. I'll divide that by two, and you'll get something like 0. Point, was it 0. 0.8? 
75, right? Okay. 14, here we are. Uh, millimeters. So that's my radius, right? Because you can't use di diameter because we're using pi r squared. Got to be in millimeters. Sorry, that's meters, isn't it? That's meters. Not millimeters, Mark. Right. Got to be in meters. Because the SI length, SI unit of length is a meter. So ideally, we should be in meters, right? So what I've done there is divided 175 by 2, really. So now my area is pi r squared, Well, I know pi is pi, times by the radius squared, which is 0 0.0875 squared. Stick that in your calculator, and you should get something like 0 0.241 meters squared. That's the area there, look. Okay, that's the area of that round circle. And we know that stress is force divided by area. So all I'm going to do now is this. So stress is for F divided by A, look, force divided by area. I know my area is 0 0.0. 241. That's the area just worked out. And my force is 112,000 up here. Look. So on my calculator, I'm going to go 112 times 10 to the 3. Make sure you put the thousands on the end of it. Okay. So if you put that in, you should get a number for, um, for stress. And you should get something like if you're following um, four, six, four, seven, three, zero, two point nine. That's the answer. Pascal, P A. Okay. If you press E and G on your calculator, so you'll see it on the calculator to put it into standard form. If you press that, it'll move this point six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you might get four point six four seven times ten to the six Pascals. Okay, that's right as well. Which and ten to the six is mega. So you could also write four point six four seven mega Pascals. Okay, so that's the stress. They're both correct. That's correct. That's correct. And that's correct. I've just put it in an engineering format, okay? So that's the first bit. That's the stress. 4.647. Okay. So the next part is the strain. Okay. That's the next part coming up next. So we've done the stress. Um, there's a the stress, 4.64 megapascals. Now we've got to find the strain. How much strain is on this bit of metal? There's, there's a force, there's a stress, and there's a strain. So we've done the stress. Tick. Now we've got to find the strain. Okay. Now, we know that strain can be change in length. Delta L just means change in length over original length. Right, so change, how much is pulled or pushed, change over original. Okay, that's one formula which we could use, um, but we don't know the change because we're trying to find it in part three. We only know the original length. Okay, so we don't know change so we can't use this formula yet but we also know there's a thing called young's modulus which is how stretchy something is the elastic modulus is stress divided by strain okay now there's something i forgot to give you the young's modulus of this bit of metal 
is Young's modulus is E, look, Young's modulus. It's how stretchy something is. But don't use the word stretchy, use elastic modulus. So Young's modulus, the symbol is E. In this example, Young's modulus is 200 gigapascals. The higher this number, the stiffer something is. So diamond's got a very high Young's modulus. Giga is 9, so it's 200 times 10 to the 9. Okay? So, we know that number, and we also know the stress, because we worked it out in part 1, look, so we know that. So if I can rearrange this formula, I can find strain. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, a bit of magic. Strain is going to be... I'll bring the strain up and I'll bring the E down, look. So strain is going to be stress divided by E, which is Young's modulus. Strain's always small. Well, not always, but, you know, in our case, it's going to be small. No units. Okay, it's just a ratio. So if I divide stress and E, I'll get my answer. My stress from up here was 4.647. There, look. Don't forget the 10 to 6. So I'm going to go 4.647. Right, it's quite big, so I'll put 10 to the 6 on the end of it. Because I'm there, look, 4.64 times 10 to the 6. Okay, all that number there, same thing. All of that, really. Divided by Young's modulus. Which we know to be 200. Take a look. There, look. I'm just giving it to you. So it's 200 times 10 to the 9. It's not always 200, it might be 250, 205, depends. Eh? So just make sure you use the number that you've got in your question 200 times 10 to the 9. A big number divided by an even bigger number. If you put that into your calculator, it'll give you something small. Press E and G, perhaps it'll give you something like this, 23.235 times 10 to the minus 6. And that's the strain, easy peasy. Okay, strain is linked to how much force, how much stress. Strain then can be used to calculate how much this bar is going to stretch by. Um, no units, it's a ratio. So, no units. Okay, that one there, tick. So that's part two, that's the strain. Um, there we are, that's that one there, look. Number two, thank you very much. So we've done that. Um, and the last part is the change in length. So the next bit coming up is gonna be the change in length. Uh, change in length which is delta L. Triangle L means change in length, okay? And in our case, it's being, it's in tension, so it's being stretched. So we're gonna work out how much this bar is gonna be stretched. Okay, how much stretched. Okay, so that's part uh, three. Part three, coming up. So part three is working out how much this metal bar, because we've got a metal bar like this. It's been pulled up by a force like that. So we need to know the stretch. How much is this metal bar being pulled or stretched? Because it's been pulled up by a force. Okay, let's get a different color pen here. Um, we didn't color pen. Green. Let's go for green. What's that like? Not too bad, is it? Oh, we love that. All right. So, the change in length. Now, we can work that out because we know a formula. And here's our formula. Here, look. Strain is change in length divided by original length. So, we can 
use that formula to find the change because we know the strain, right? We know the strain because we worked it out. Oh, I just don't ever doubt strain, all right? Strain, all right? We know the strain because we worked it out down here. It's there, look, 23.235 minus 6. And we know the, the original length right, of this thing was 1.5 meters or 1,500 millimeters. So we know the numbers to find how much this thing is going to stretch by due to that 112 force. Okay. So I know that strain. Is change in length, change, how much it's been stretched by or squashed by, in our case stretched, over original. What it started off at, right? Um, I've got to find the change. I don't know what the change is. But I can rearrange this formula. Okay. So I'm just going to bring the original bit up here. Look. So if I do strain, which I know times by the original length, original length of the bar, which I know, that will give me how much this bar is being stretched by. Okay. Change in length. Because a force will make things get bigger or smaller, won't it? So I know my strain, right? My strain is, uh, 23.235. So, I don't like the orange, let's go to red. So, I know my change is going to be strain, which was from before 23.235 times 10 to the minus 6. Don't forget the minus 6 bit. Little bracket around it. Times by the original length, okay, which was um, 1.5 meters or 1,500 millimeters, okay? If you multiply it by a millimeter, it'll come out in millimeters, okay? So, because it's going to be quite small, I'm going to multiply it by 1,500 millimeters, which means my answer comes out in millimeters then, right? Because it might be a bit easier to sort of picture in your mind. It's going to be quite small. So. so I've done strain times by the length, original length, which was 1,500. Yeah. Okay. So if you multiply them two together, you get 0 0.0348 of a millimetre. Because that is in millimetres. You can put that in metres if you want to. It's just that I can picture in my head, I can picture that. 0 0.038 of a millimetre, which is nothing, is it really? Okay. So, part three, the answer to part three is that this metal bar is going to stretch by 0.0. .0 not three or eight of a millimeter. Okay, and that's it. Done. Ready, Benny? Thank you very much. So we've worked out uh, stress, strain, and the change. Okay, so nice and easy. Go through it again if you're struggling. Um, over and out.